also said Jaden Daniels is clearly the starter. Because he is. But Garrett Nussmeyer will be given a chance to win the job this offseason ahead of 2023. We have committed to – what we have committed to is an open mind and an open process, which is oh my exactly God. the answer if you're not a girl, he was friend. going to say about the quarterback position, right? Like, Jaden Daniels is the starter. It's his job to lose. If Jaden Daniels continues to do what he's been doing, it's his job. He's going to be the starter. I'd like to marry so you. So, but... with that, with that being said, what, what is, what's your take on what is the real quarterback situation going into next year? Like, do you think it's a real open competition? Like, or what do you what do you think? I think I think that Jaden Daniels is the starter, right? I think that yeah, they're gonna he's gonna continue to give Nuss some some Jaden. If there's a hundred percent of the snaps with number one with the with the number one uh, team, Jaden Daniels is gonna get eighty five percent of those, ninety percent of those, right? Nuss is gonna get. Some of the other snaps with him, he's going to do what he's got to do. And I think Brian Kelly is trying to keep Nuss there for as long as he can keep him he's there. He's doing what he did last year. So, that, I about to say, when I, when I hear that response, I think, boy, if there was ever a world without having Jaden Daniels next year, would I still love to have Nuss on this roster? Yes. How can I keep him here? Give him I the think, cheese at room. Yep. I think that was <laughs> – I think that response was a literally, I'm talking through the media directly to you, Nussmeier. Meaning, I need, I'm, I'm trying to get you to stay here as much as possible because it would really, really, really help us out if we have that to fall back on. And that was, and that's, it, and this is also zero shot to Walker. No. Right? He's just the unknown right now. Right, right, right. And I, I, I like the fact that he was able to get into the bowl game. I wish I'd yeah. have been able to get into the bowl game with. Some of the guys are... Go ahead, man. Just go ahead and say what you was going to say. I'm not, resp- I'm not answering go that. Go ahead. No. I, I, you wish he was with the, the ones in Paris? <laughs> 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 go, man. Stop, man. Go ahead. Go Lord, what are you saying, Lord? Say go. <laughs> go. Say man. it. Do it. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Re- answer. Right. Go ahead. But I was going to ask, like, did you think it was odd that they put Garrett Nussmeyer in that early? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, did. I did. I, I wasn't, wasn't expecting, expecting him to go in that early. I thought, I thought they were going to get out to a lead. Like, I thought if they would have done what they did this year, the, the way the game went, right? If you would have said before the game started, if LSU said, oh, LSU is going to be out 35 nothing at halftime, I'm like, oh, well, Nussmeyer is going to get a half. two quarters, yeah. two and a half quarters of play, right? Like, the minute it. they're up four scores – in seven years, they're ago. gonna be. Yeah, they're <laughs> gonna be. They're gonna take him out, and they're gonna put Nuss in, and Nuss is gonna play, and they're gonna both get get the opportunity to play. Well, I did not expect. All right, you're gonna give Jaden the first drive. First drive didn't go well. It's okay. Then you punt it out. You get the ball back. Second drive once goes really well, and then you see Nuss, and I'm like, oh shit. And then Nuss goes down all the way down there. Does really well. Then Jaden's back in. I'm like, all right, they're gonna they're, they're gonna do this thing. Well, then Jaden got consecutive drives, and then Nuss got consecutive. It was just. I wasn't expecting it, but it worked very well. Both players played very well, and the offense never lost any rhythm. Yeah. So, And that's what I'm wondering, if that was a test case for next year. Where no. You see, Brian Kelly has done this before, where he's we played We talked about this. We, talk, we, we thought we were going to do it this year. The door's never been more open. I think it plays to his point. He's trying to keep him happy. Yeah, I, I agree. I just – here. I, and that, for me, it's more it's – more, it's, it goes deeper than Jane Daniels. For me, it goes to – we can't have a team MVP, mm-hmm. unanimous team MVP, somehow lose a job in a because of what? In not a real game, like well, how does it? How does a a returning starter, unanimous team MVP, SEC champion, SEC champion, championship West champion, SEC West champion, return the next year and. Not have a starting spot. Not because it's, for me, what, what does that say to the rest of the team? And how do, you, how do you give off confidence to anyone else if that's what you're doing to that guy? Right. Now, look, and this is all saying that he goes and takes care of his business in the offseason, which is puts in the work, right? It feels like he is going to. It doesn't feel like he's not, right? Like, right. It, like it, 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 it'd be hard-pressed for me to sit here and say, like, you come back, you show up next year, and you're like, man, that guy just didn't work. He didn't do anything. He wasn't ready. He wasn't prepared. He didn't do this. If he does all those things, how how is he not a starter next year? 
because the rest of the roster is gonna be like, well, this this ain't this doesn't bode well for me, right? So like for me, it goes a little bit deeper than just a Jaden Daniels. It goes to a entire situation of the whole club. Now I'll say this: I'll completely say this, and I, I said this pre-show too. Barring two losses through six games of the season, I don't think you look at changing him until. After yeah. that, if well, if you don't think you're, you're so if you don't think you're getting what you need to get to, out of that position, to go to go a little bit further, you're not going to have Nussmeier for that. I don't, so, it, but for it was, me, it's not even about just to go Nussmeier. further. Brian Kelly's to uh, to to go more in depth. He said there is no co- quarterback controversy. Yeah, Jaden is the number one quarterback. Garrett will get a chance to compete. Yeah, exactly what we're saying, right? Jaden is the is the guy. He is the number one quarterback. He's going to get the majority of the reps. He's going to do the stuff. But Nuss is going to continue to progress and compete. If Nuss starts to look better, Jaden doesn't does something wrong, gets hurt or does something, Nuss is the guy. If not, Jaden's the guy. And that's just right. the way it works. Yep. You know, and Jaden's earned that. At least I think. I, I think th- so too. So does Brian Kelly. And and look and 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 I guess for me, it's not a like there's there's twelve games for sure on the schedule next year. I'm not saying that he's the starter for all twelve. Right? There's a body of work that needs to be taken care of, and you flip the page once we get to next year and and into the season. Right? But to start the year. I don't understand how you could ever think that he wouldn't be the starter game one. Yeah, I would like to see Walker somehow get some development. If Walker is continues doesn't get to play with any. Were of Were you starters, shocked by the way that they kind of used him? When today? No, they gave him an opportunity to play. Yeah, but it didn't. Like you said, they get a chance to run with the yeah, ball. Yeah, but it just that was just the way the game played out. Yeah. I mean, you know, like they put up. They're not going to put. Him and in it is probably Sunshine Scooter. It is probably guys he's thrown to all year. Yeah, for yeah, yeah like too, so. he's a third string quarterback this right. year, based off of the red shirt and everything. So like he played in the situation that was yeah. dictated for his position on the depth chart, right? Yeah. So they're not going to play him over Nuss right now because he's you know he's red shirted. But I'm glad he did get to get in, and I was just wish that you know he was able to throw it more just the way the game was. I mean, it was fifty. Was it fifty six? It was, well, I know, but it was fifty six to three at the time. Fifty six yeah. to seven at the time before when he got in. Like, you know, what are you gonna do? You know, let him sling it around. He got to throw the ball a couple of times. One ball got batted down. Um, he showed he showed he could run a little bit. He showed his wheels a little bit he around did. the corner. Um, Who had the highest QBR of anybody on the team that could, that attempted? I mean, pass? Malik Neighbors had even, a QBR of like almost five hundred. I still don't even know how they compute QBR, so I just don't. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He was two for two for 50 yards and a tud. But for actual numbers, Jaden, 12 of 17 for 139, one touchdown. And this is the part that where it gets a little hairy because people love this of Nussmeyer. 11 for 15 for 173, two touchdowns. But yeah, the pick. Well, but I will say that out of the 173, 63 of them came on a, on a push pass. Yeah. So... You know, let's but I'm that. saying that like what people are going to stare at the depth chart or stare at the numbers in the. Oh, he's got the like, ability. Yeah. Nobody doubts that. But I'm, like going 11 and 15 and 12 and 17, that's. That's like, what I'm saying. People are just going to look at this and be like, "Well, damn!" Like one complete and completed four passes, one incompleted five passes. The other guy incompleted five passes also had 68 yards rushing on the ground on six carries. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm screaming. And not and, and five and I'll, I'll, a lot of these runs were designed. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like he was just running around for his life. It was hey these. I mean, his his thirty eight yard run was a was a read option. It felt very within the system. Yeah, I think yes. The, for, when it comes to watching Nussmeier play, dude, like if I'm being completely honest, you don't really see many guys th- can throw it the way he does. Darren Olowski was having an orgasm. No, it's it's impressive. Like. I like Darren Olowski a lot. Uh, yeah. I really it's, do. Uh, like it's like it's legit impressive yeah, when like, he plays. Man, I love the way he throws but it's, football. Playing the position of quarterback goes further than just being able to throw it for sure and that's really all it comes for out. sure and, and i'm not saying that he can't do that stuff today but i'm, I'm not, not the risk. i'm not there every day right there's a reason why they chose Jaden over there and today he looked good today he was within the offense he yeah. didn't try to do anything crazy the only inter- and the interception he threw wasn't a bad decision it was a bad throw yeah it was right? the risk it, 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 like, was, it, was a, it was a one-on-one ball. It was a one-on-one one one ball. It was a bad throw, but that's, that's what you get with him. Like, that's what it's always going to be. Yeah, in. but, like, like it was a one-on-one fade route that you literally had the, a receiver that you wanted isolated with the cornerback. All you had to do was throw the ball up and let him go give a shot. Oh, he threw it a little too flat, and it was short, and that's why I got picked off. Right. So, like, and it happens. wasn't compared. It's going to happen a lot. Yeah, but that happens. Like, Jaden threw so, it earlier. But, listen, happened. that's a bad pass. Yeah. There, oh, was, exactly. there was there was there was not a, a bad decision. Right. There was a number of right play. there was a number of bad decisions 
great throws that happened in the SEC championship game that got glossed over, right? What if you what if you combine the two in the same game? Are we out of the game at halftime? That's right. that's where things get scary. Right. When when you have him in the game. It's the fear of the unknown in the LSU fan base. That's what they're you know what you're gonna do with Jaden Daniels, but you would love for Nussbrock to put I'm, it together. And, and maybe and I think in a perfect world it's Walker Howard hey, that are married two together. I'll just tell you, here's my hot take. I'm not saying <laughs> I you ain't have saying, all three. I'm not saying you're gonna get two thousand nineteen. But I do truly, 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 truly think there is going to be a significant jump in the LSU offense next year. And tell me your predictions. Would you say you? How, would you tell me today how many? I think. Yards you think he's gonna have next year? I think it'll be thirty five hundred plus next year, passing in yards the air. for Jaden. And that's not talking about what I what he can possibly do on the ground as well. I think here's my thing: if he's gonna throw for thirty five hundred yards, he's not gonna rush for a thousand like he almost did this year. I think he still might. I think, but I, but I, a reason I say that is I think that he's going to say he's going to be throwing the ball more intentionally. He's, the only reason I'm saying it is because I think if they can progress this passing game, when he does decide to, when he does decide to, well, the pull runs it down, are more designed. The, what, not even just the design runs, but when he does decide to pull it down, things will be that much more open. For yeah. Him too. Yeah. I mean, I agree. That's that's where I, that's what I think. He has the second most total yards of all time, or second most. Total yards as a from a quarterback in LSU history. Thank you. I think you'll get Behind twenty Deborah, plus no, twenty Deborah plus touchdown 6, passes, and I think you'll get thirty five hundred yards passing. You know what he, oh. I think you get. Do you know what he's I at this year? He's at twenty seven with twenty. Before with 20. this game, though, right? No, this is everything in totality. Oh, he had over three thousand yards this. Year. No, two twenty seven hundred throwing, and eight hundred eighteen rushing. I that thought was, it was before this game. I think that was before this I'm game. I'm looking at it. I know they haven't updated it before. Uh, yeah, I think that was before the game. New game is right here. Because I feel like they were. I feel like he was neck and neck with Joe. He had twenty seven hundred yeah. before the bowl game. I'm pretty sure he was like neck and neck with Joe before the bowl game. Like we talked yeah. about this before. Yeah. Like it was literally. So there's no way 139 still has him 100 less. I feel like he was closer than that. Even if he isn't, my point yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Even if he isn't, my point is. How many passing close. touchdowns did he have? Eleven. Passing? No. Oh, so that's rushing. Like I'm sorry. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16 and 3. You go 20, you throw for 22 passing touchdowns? Because I think if rush? he throws for 20 plus, he'll run for close 10. to 10. Yeah. Probably more than 10. And you'll, so 26 touchdowns, Barry quarterback Joe, obviously, is a test case by itself where he had accounted for 60 touchdowns. Yeah, that's Joe's not going to happen. Joe's not a. I understand, I understand what you're doing, but it's impossible. It's for not people. a test case. Like, we, we keep saying this too. Like, no, we keep saying in the sense that I, I just want to, I want people to understand yeah, what that year was. I want people to understand what that year was in 2019 so we can stop comparing and saying, man, I wish we'd, I wish we'd have something that looked like Joe. Joe played 15 games that year and he accounted for 60 touchdowns. That's never happening again. It never he was a walking four touchdown game. Mm-hmm. Find me someone else where you think that that's going to happen. It's not a thing. Like, that's not – you don't find that year in and year out. There isn't someone doing that. There isn't another one in the country that did that this year. And you're not going like, to see, not gonna see that every year. to be Ever. able to go through the progression. So let's not, let's not say, oh, man, I remember 19. And that is an anomaly, man. Like, it is a straight-up anomaly. And I said this earlier in our group text. I think when it's all said and done, Joe is going to be part of the trio that we just watched, the next version of it. When you saw Tom, Ben, and Peyton be great for so many years, I think you're about to watch Joe, Patrick, and Josh Allen be great for the next however many years. Dude, the, Aaron, did you say Aaron? Well, Aaron was – it's weird. Aaron was kind of like – we knew he was great, but he, was, he wasn't he was part of that quote-unquote trio. Yeah, he didn't, he was go look at the that. playoff. Go look at the playoff stuff. Like, it was literally Aaron's, – Aaron's seven years younger than Tom. It was three years, bro. It was Crazy. Well, it was It was for like 10-plus years in a row where it was like one of those three were in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm not discounting Aaron, but I'm just talking about, I think we're about to watch yeah. that trio literally start stealing. doing the same thing. Huh? He said Brett's been stealing. Still oh. Aaron's time. <laughs> yeah. So, I, but, <laughs> but, so, we're sitting here saying, like, oh, I want, oh, I want 2019. I want to watch, bro, that's, I'm not saying you're never going to get that again, but yeah. that's not. I mean, that's very. <laughs> good luck finding yeah. that, man. He, he accounted for 6,000 yards of total offense. It's never going to happen. That's not, that's not real. No. So don't don't use him. Or don't use as Joe the as the measuring stick. Can't. And this is from uh, Tyler Levener, who is in the chat. JD has the second most yards in the season for LSU, and it was still twenty five hundred less 
than right. Burr. <laughs> wait, like, wait, and then, wait, and then the time out too. We'll say it this way. Let's just go ahead and erase 2019. Uh, you would be ecstatic if we had him coming back next year. If you had 2018. Because wait, it's the second most yards ever. Mm-hmm. So would that if Joe never happened, what's that mean? He's number one. He's the best quarterback ever. So you would, there's no year. way you would sit here and say, man, I, was, really I think we need to change fire. it. Yeah. yeah, I really think we need to change it. You wouldn't even be saying that. So like, we got we to gotta, we gotta go ahead and just thank Joe. Remember it as like, man, that was the unbelievable time in my life. I enjoy mm-hmm. that. I'm never fucking her again. That just, that, 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 that never, like, Enjoy it for what it was, was, but let's keep pushing forward. Back to Paris. Back. Let's go back to what's real, and I think you're about to. I think you're going to see a jump next year. My prediction: thirty five hundred plus. I don't know. Let's go thirty five touchdowns. And this is the same man that said he saw Mason Taylor run one rep, and he goes, "That's your tight end." And he's like, "He's about to be a feature in the offense." And I was like, "Jerry, we sat. We just sat down." And he's like, "Yep." Yeah. You can tell. I don't know shit though. Yeah. You hey, play, would you play or something? No. Mm. No. Tough. I didn't really play. <laughs> Ryan never played. Bro, I never played. <laughs> never played three plays in a row. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting a tattoo. Oh, God. Um, we, had, we had a good run at Middle Tennessee, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, SEC championship game was nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh.